The sweet smell of freshly baked cookies is the scent of success for this young businesswoman. Four years ago, Carlota González created her company, Sucre Desserts, in Venezuela's capital, Caracas. Getting people together, usually when there's a celebration or even in hard times or sad times, people are brought together by desserts. Usually a dessert brings people, it gathers people around. People feel it's some sort of, you can nurture your soul through food. With the help of her parents, González started by building a small kitchen in the backyard of her home. Everything that we've tried and ordered is consistently good. So all the cakes, all the cookies, the brownies, the crumbles, um, you know, they're always really delicious and, um, you know, they go the extra mile. Every day, González calls dozens of her suppliers and visits several stores across Caracas to get what her business needs but sometimes she has to rely on a plan B. We usually have um, a lot of backup and we usually have a stash of material so we don't have anything missing. In the worst case scenario, we find a way around it, some, even though that means calling a friend that is also in the business, the pastry business so they can lend us flour and then we give it back. Pricing is also a challenge for Gonzalez. To keep up with hyperinflation, she has to update her fees every day. Hyperinflation in Venezuela is expected to reach 10 million percent next year, according to the IMF. And with such forecasts, business owners are wondering how they'll keep up. Venezuela's National Council of Commerce and Services estimates up to 45 percent of all stores have closed down across the country over the last year. There will be a time when entrepreneurs will need to take a decision whether to continue to lose money or to close. Everything has a limit, resources are limited, and working under such levels of hyperinflation, it's impossible to bear. Whether it's crumbled brownies or chunkies, Gonzalez is determined to keep her business going in a market where staying creative is proving key to staying open. Juan Carlos Lamas, Tirity World. Caracas.